In Europe, it's not considered unusual for three or four men to share a bed. Yeah, well, that's why I'm proud to be an American. By the way, I like to sleep in the nude. Drug? Nope. Oh, what do you want? I'm just recording your demeanor upon awakening. Oh. Good to see you got your underwear back on. It's Saturday, and we're gonna be up till seven. Oh, well, you've gotta make my breakfast. Dave, cooking is very relaxing and therapeutic. I want two eggs, over easy and unfertilized, wheat toast dry, and please tell me that you've got ketchup. You know what, there's a Denny's down the street. Not only do they have ketchup, but they got like the angriest waitresses I've ever seen. You could have a blast with a goose rabbit thing down there. Lemo. When you're smiling, when you're smiling, when you're smiling, when you're smiling, and the whole world smiles with you. And when you're laughing, when you're laughing, oh, you're laughing, oh, you're laughing. Mm, when the sun comes shining through, shining through. when you're crying, when you're crying. Your you bring on the rain, on stop the your shine, won't you be happy again? happy again? When you're smiling, when you're smiling. keep on smiling. Easy. Now, why did I do that? Because I refused to spoon with you last night? The angry man opens his mouth and shuts his eyes. <sighs> Alphabets, no matter how old I get, always a culinary delight. No explanation for the egg throwing. He's a psycho. Okay. Don't sulk, Dave. Eat, sit down. We'll be off to work in a jiffy. We'll be off to work. Now, by wheel, I assume you mean just me, right? Well, I have to join you at work. Full contact. Uh, I think that's gonna make me look a little nuts, buddy, bringing a shrink to work, you whipping eggs at people, I don't know. You must never be ashamed that you sought help for yourself, Dave. It's not a weakness. I mean, I had to be there by 9 o'clock. I don't think we're going to make it on time. You're not even dressed, buddy. The Talmud says, wherever you look, there's something to be seen. Look, Dave. Clothes for cats isn't really a new idea, but there was never really a line made for overweight cats who might feel a little self-conscious about the way they look in certain outfits. That's why I got the baggy sweater on him to cover up his gut and the beret to take attention off his plump head. Oh, oh little meatball, you tie this up tight and away goes the chin. I'm so handsome. Hey, Dave. This is your office? Hey, Andrew. <sighs> what are you doing here? Oh, I just played golf with Frank. He's friends with my dad, and we're all members of the same country club. Oh, really? Geez, I've been wanting to play golf with him a long time. Is it awesome there? Oh, yeah, it's nice. Hey! So anyway, uh, Dave, how's anger management going? <laughs> Who told you about that? Linda's my best friend. There's no secrets between us. For the love of Mike, this guy's your girl's best friend? No, I mean, I like to consider myself her best friend, but Andrew is her best... Friend, friend, if that makes any sense. You ought to golf yourself, Dave. You're looking a little stressed out. <laughs> I gotta go. 
Bye. Well, well, well. This guy's got quite a basket on him. Really? I didn't notice that. Do you really want the love of your life hanging around with a guy who looks as though he could satisfy a blue whale? Well, it's, I'm doing okay myself, pal. Maybe it's the way his pants bit him. Ooh. What's up? This is your young lady? That's my Linda. My, oh my, I... I was toying with the notion that uh, you were gay because of the kitty cat clothes and so forth. What does she do? 